Hello, I'm Neil Goodwin, Chief Scientific Officer at Technova. It's a privilege to present to you today our research and development efforts centered on standardizing AAV production for gene therapy. Technova is purpose-built to address critical supply chain needs in the life sciences. We offer customization, short turnaround times, and we produce liquids and solutions in scalable batch sizes up to 2,000 liters and packaged in everything from two milliliter tubes to 200 liter bags, both research grade and clinical GMP grades. Our products are fundamental to the life sciences and they span all segments and applications, pre-poured media plates, cell culture media and supplements, and molecular biology reagents. We produce over 4,000 reagents to over 3,000 customers. Technova has a large capacity to meet custom manufacturing demands centered at our parent site in Hollister, California, and also in Mansfield, Massachusetts. We have custom designed clean rooms and automated systems for product formulation and dispensing, and we're certified ISO 13485. Our portfolio meets the complex needs across the AAV gene therapy workflow, from plasma manufacturing and purification to final formulation. We are researching major art uh, AAV production challenges with the ultimate goal to accelerate process development with better virus, with um, faster de-risk scale-up, and the production of high virus titer with good purity. Our research and development at Technova has both upstream reagent and processes and downstream reagents and processes focuses. And today I'd like to talk about um, our ion exchange-based purification and polishing R&D effort, and, I, and I'll turn it over to Bella Neufeld, our Director of Research and Development. Thank you, Neil. So as Neil mentioned, I'm going to be discussing one project that we're working on in the R&D lab here at Technova, and that's really related to viral vector purification within the upstream and downstream workflow of AAB. So within vector purification, there's a number of steps that we associate with that process. You can think about filtration, maybe depth filtration or tangential flow, or chromatography. And we're really interested in chromatography due to scalability of this system. So within the world of chromatography, you can think about it from the capture step of this, also known, uh, often associated with affinity chromatography, or the polishing enrichment step uh, associated with ion exchange. And so for the remainder of this talk, we're going to be discussing one of the projects we're working on at Technova, which is looking at enrichment of capsids using ion exchange chromatography. And of course, all of this is related to the buffers that we make here at Technova. So what we're developing in-house currently is optimizing processes to efficiently have full capsid enrichment. And the idea behind this is that we can utilize certain inputs that may be existing serotypes or novel serotypes that you all are working on in the field, along with capsid modification and gene-specific encapsulation, including both the gene of interest and perhaps the promoter, to input this into some process or platform that, again, we're currently developing in-house to ultimately get the, an output from that. And in this case, the output is going to be some uh, customized method that allows full capsid enrichment. So one can imagine a situation where as you have these inputs, you can develop a platform that utilizes things such as conductivity, pH, certain profiles and additives to allow some predictability into how that output will be. And again, when we're talking about this output, that's full capsid enrichment. So this is what we're currently developing at Technova, this platform to be able to do this. So as a proof of concept to see how this, this technology works, we wanted to use AAV2. And I'm going to be working through a number of chromatograms during this talk, and so I just want to familiarize ourselves with, with how these um, display themselves. So we have a graph here that's showing absorbance versus volume. That's going to be the response of the serotype on the column versus the column volume. And we're, we're measuring this based off two different wavelengths, 280 and 254, which are very common wavelengths associated with caps enrichment. And so on the left-hand side, you can see a very common chromatogram associated with a, a particular serotype, again, AAV2 in this case, where you have poor resolution and little separation of those peaks. However, after applying our platform that we're again developing in-house here at Technova, you can see uh, the chromatogram on the right, which has very good separation and good resolution of those peaks. And to better understand what's happening within those peaks, we of course do in vitro testing and transduction of, that, of those peaks. And indeed, as you can see on the bottom, on the left-hand side, we have good response. Um, we have green GFP cells, 
and on the right, very poor response. So this was very exciting for the lab to see this, this clear separation in the response based off the cell transduction. But of course, this was only for AAV2, and we wanted to see what other serotypes we could accomplish with a similar method. So we moved on to AAV9 and AAV6, and we chose these particularly because we found them to be quite different than AAV2. So we felt that if we could apply this platform for a variety of serotypes at different extremes, this would be a pretty powerful technique. So indeed, what we're showing here is similar separation achieved for two different serotypes, AAV9 and 6. Again, we have a good separation, good resolution, and indeed, when we did the in vitro testing with transduction efficiency, we saw a very good response on the cells. And when we actually measured that tiger lobe or the DNA content of the genetic material, we saw an at least a hundredfold increase between the two peaks. So again, this was very exciting for the team that we uh, were developing this platform. And I just wanted to mention one more piece within this uh, process that we found really fascinating. So even within the AAV9 um, response that we saw for the chromatogram, we actually noticed that if you continue to tweak that same method, so uh, you can actually achieve additional separation. So the chromatogram on the left is the one from the previous slide where we get one single nice sharp peak in the beginning and a second peak at the end there. Um, but if we take that first peak and we again tweak it and, and apply new methods, we see that there's actually quite a lot of extra material that's within that that is, has little to no transduction efficiency. And so what this basically indicated to us is that within each serotype, it will require a lot of advanced tweaking. Um, there's a lot of layers to this method and that each serotype will require its own uh, method development and, and customization, which is something that we're quite familiar with here at Technova, making custom products. So while this is just one project that we're working on within the R&D lab, I do want to draw attention to some of the other projects that are either ongoing or we're exploring in the future. So currently, we're looking into traditional AAVs of, of various serotypes, including different plasma generation. Um, we're also very interested in more designer AAVs based on either tropism or direct evolution. And then finally, this idea of exploring non-viral delivery systems related to nanoparticle delivery. So with that, I would really like to thank the entire R&D team and specifically acknowledge my counterpart, Tia Hexon, the Scientific Affairs Director, who is located in San Diego. And of course, the entire R&D team that is listed here. Everything that we do within Technova in the R&D department is based off collaborations between customers. And so we'd really like to have those conversations with you to begin this process for you and your work and how we can help you optimize your processes. So we have our contact information here and we would be very happy for you to reach out to us for further information.